Hello and welcome, it's Captain Rusty here and in today's series video I'm going to show you how to read a map. So don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe just to show your support to my channel. So to start off we're going to go through some key notes. Number one is to find an X on the map that you want to start with. Then for number two you need to match that X onto your ship's map so you can get a bigger view of what you're looking at. For number three you'll need to find an iconic structure. This will allow you to easily pinpoint yourself to the map and find the treasure easier. Now for number four you need to orientate yourself with the map. So to do this you should be always facing north as this is the way the maps always face. So for number five you now need to use that iconic structure you found earlier and plot a route using that and other landmarks around so you can find your way there so much more easier. So starting off at number one we need to find an X on the map so we're going to go with E4 as you can see I've just circled it. And in the top right of the map you can see the compass. Now as you see it's always facing north so this is where you're going to want to orientate yourself later on. So we now need to find that X on the actual ship's map. So what we do is go to the roughly area and zoom in and we've got a much more bigger scale to work with and it's easier to see. So now for number three we need to find that iconic structure and because we're on the top and it's above the shipwreck I chose the crane because to me it's near our X and it's quite noticeable we can plot our route using that as you can see with the arrow. For number four we need to orientate ourselves so we are aligned with the map correctly so just face north and you should be aligned. So for number five we need to plot our route now so as you can see we start off at the crane then we go all the way around until we get to the stone bridge and then from the stone bridge we keep going around till we get to the X. I've made sure I've got some landmarks that I can remember and we'll get into that in a minute. Now we've plotted the course we can see I need to go straight ahead and then follow this big stone ridge round till it reconnects to the stone bridge. Now if I follow this I shouldn't get lost and it should bring me straight around to the stone bridge. As you can see there it is. So this is our first landmark. So now we've made it to our first landmark, we want to make sure we don't get lost from here and we're going the right way. So orientate yourself, face north and just double check the map. And as you can see, we're exactly where we want to be. So now we need to go and try and find our second landmark. Now this is going to be the crossroads, which you can't really see until I can show you there physically. So we'll just keep heading on the way we're going and here we are. Here's the crossroads, nice and simple. So here's the crossroads on the map just to show you. So we know we need to take the right path, but to, in order to find the right one, we need to start facing north. Once we face north, we can then determine which path to take. So as you can see here, we're now facing north and it's the right path. Keep heading down to get to the red bush and then all you want to do is dig right next to it because that's where the map's telling me to. And here we are, we've dug up the treasure and how lovely is that? Thank you for watching and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. I hope this video has been helpful for you and why not click one appear on screen right now. Thanks, it's been Captain Rusty.